how to find quartile if we have discrete series so this basically involves some five step step one we have to find out the cumulative frequencies so in case of discrete series we'll have frequency what we have to do is we have to find what is the cumulative frequency then step two we have to find what is n plus 1 divided by 4 and what is n here n is nothing but summation of the frequency so we have to sum the frequency then that summation will be called as capital n n plus 1 divided by 4 and what we have to do is we have to look for this value in cumulative frequency that is the value that is just greater than n plus 1 divided by 4 okay so in cumulative frequency we have to look for the value that is just greater than n plus 1 by 4 then its corresponding x value will be called as quartile 1 so this is about quartile 1 then for quartile 3 the formula is 3 into n plus 1 by 4 and again n is nothing but summation of f so what we have to do is in cumulative frequency we have to look for the value which is just greater than 3 into n plus 1 by 4 then the corresponding x value will be called as quartile 3 to understand this let's take a small case study so we have to compute quartile for the data that is the data in discrete form so you have x and you have f so this is in the discrete form so what is our step one our step one is we have to find out what is the cumulative frequency we have to find out cumulative frequency so we'll do that so i'm just rewriting all the x whatever we have in the question and the corresponding frequency so whatever we had as x is written here whatever we had as f is written here the next step that is our step one is finding the cumulative frequency so the frequency when x is 5 is 4 and cumulative frequency will also be 4. The frequency when x is 8 is 3. So the cumulative frequency is going to be 4 plus 3 that is 7. The frequency for 12 is 2. So the cumulative frequency is 7 plus 2 9. Frequency for 15 is 4 and cumulative frequency is 4 plus 9 that is 13 frequency for 19 is 5 so 13 plus 5 is 18 for 24 it is 2 so it is 18 plus 2 24 and for 30 it is 4 so 20 plus 4 it is 24 so this is the cumulative frequency and this obviously matches with the total of frequency that is summation f is equal to 24 and this is what we are going to call as n fine let me just clear this so in this way we have understood how to arrive at the cumulative frequency and by now we also have what is summation f that is n which is 24. Now let's find q1 and what is the formula for q1? q1 is n plus 1 by 4 but this is not going to give us the exact q1. We'll look for the value which is just greater than this and we'll pick up the corresponding x. So Q1 is n plus 1 by 4. We know n is equal to 24. So we'll write n is equal to 24 plus 1 divided by 4. So 24 plus 1, 25 divided by 4. And we get the value as 6.25. Now, if this value is 6.25, then what we have to do? We have to go to cumulative frequency. So this is our cumulative frequency. We have to look for the value which is just above 6.25 and if you notice here you have a value which is 7 which is greater than 6.25 and as per the instruction you have to pick up the corresponding x the corresponding x here is 8 so we can say q1 is 8 we can say q1 is 8 i hope this makes it clear okay next we'll focus on q3 we'll focus on q3 what is the formula for Q3? Q3 says it is 3 multiplied by n plus 1 by 4th item. So it is 3 multiplied by n is 24. 24 plus 1 divided by 4. 25 by 4 it is 6.25. 6.25 multiplied by 3 will give the value as 18.75th item. So what we have to 
do is we have to look at the cumulative frequency for the value which is just above 18.75 so let me clear this yeah so I need a value which is greater than 18.75 immediate value greater than 18.75 and if you notice here I have a value called 20 so I would say 20 is greater than 18.75 and what is the corresponding x in that case the corresponding x is equal to 24 so I can say q3 is equal to 24 so our quartile 3 is 24